Hi guys, in this video, I am going to discuss about how to connect my SQL database with dweaver. So, and here I am using my SQL workbench and here this is the ID. So, I am going to connect with and here first workbench. So, and here uh, we need to give and here username and the password and here localhost 3306. So, if you and here click on plus. Now here you can uh, find this all those things. So here you can find my SQL 8 plus. So this is the latest add here. Now click this and here after click on next. And here uh, you can see our, our server host that is localhost and port 3306. So here you can find the same things. So 3306 is the port and here localhost. Now here after the next uh, thing is so add here a username root and here give the password for the root. So let's give add here connect first root and here after click on OK. So it's connecting. Now here after you can give this, you should give add here the same password. Now here after it's connected and here this all is schema or database it's there. Now here after I'm going to connect with Sakila. So add here the next is give the database name. Now here after my SQL branch and here after the next thing is we need to click add here test connection. So add here or uh, it's a uh, or uh, something is missing. So download my SQL 8 plus driver. So we need to download the driver first. After that we can connect with D viewer. So right here let's click on download button. Now here you get the message success connected. So if you give add here right property then it will or connect. Now here after click on finish button. Now here MySQL 8 plus and here Sakila that is the database name. If you click add here database here you can see Sakila database and here you can see add here tables. So this all are tables. If you right click here you can do like gender SQL. Here you can find add here added tables view data. If you click on view data. So add here all the database it's a display. Now you can see the properties also. So add here actor id a small int varchar and here last update timestamps. Here you can check the constant foreign key constant if that is present. So add here reference fk and here this all those things. Now here you can see the trigger. There is no any trigger here. You can see the index. Now here you can check the ER diagram also. So ER diagram that is entity relationship diagram. This is the easiest way we can use it. If you want then here you can create the table. Right click here after create tables and here you can do the filtering configure filter and here you can get or tools or dump database open. So uh, by using at here D Weaver. So this is the one or uh, good ID uh, for my SQL. You should use and here you can find users. So Adam percent. So if you double click here you can see. So what privilege for the atoms. So at here create user event user. If you want then here you can modify by check after that. Here after click on save and here you can see the administrator, session manager, all those things and here. So this is the one uh, good ID for MySQL in my point of view. So you should try. So at here or uh, if you if you work uh, so many times for MySQL bench, then you should also use at here D1. So at here this is the free addition, no need to pay anything. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So this is the way we can connect at your dweaver with my SQL. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.